Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today I'll be showing you Windows 10 build 15.025 for PC. And this build is the latest fast ring build for Windows Insiders as part of the future creators update, which is expected to come out sometime of spring this year. I will note that these builds are buggy, and I wouldn't recommend installing them onto your main device. In the last few Windows Insider fast builds, many users were reporting getting stuck at the Windows Update screen, not being able to get past the 0% install. This issue continues into 15.025, however, it has been noted to be a visual glitch. In my case, after waiting it out, the update finally installed, and a restart button appeared in the Windows Update page. Customization and configuration options are among the most numerous with this build, from accessibility to general customization. Many bugs with the toggles introduced with previous builds have also been fixed. For instance, the color picker will now allow you to select any color at any time without having to restart the settings app. You'll also notice that the Mixed Reality section is now absent, leaving Update and Security sad and alone all by itself down here. The Nightlight settings we saw in build 15014 has been updated once again. You'll notice that the hue of the slider looks a little bit different as you can now adjust your display temperature all the way down to 1200 Kelvin, a much deeper red if you're really serious about filtering out all that blue light. The Windows Narrator has also been updated to support Braille. This is an experience that's currently in beta, as can be seen from within the Narrator page of the Ease of Access section in the Settings app. For those who aren't aware, this is support for Braille displays, which can be connected to your PC through USB for those with impaired vision or hearing. The Braille features can be installed onto your device with a button, as they will not be installed on your PC by default. There's also now an option in the other page in the Ease of Access section which allows you to switch your PC's sound mode to mono rather than stereo. This combines both the left and right audio channels into a mono track which plays all sounds from both left and right speakers. This is designed for the visually impaired, who often use just one headphone to hear both information coming from the Windows device and from the outside world, or in any other variety of circumstances. Um, you can test this out for yourself if you actually switch this setting on and go onto the sound section and test out your speakers, you'll notice that the left and right sound ping tests come out of both of your speakers rather than just the left or right, which is really interesting. All of these changes with the goal, of course, to make Windows as easy to use for anyone despite their physical or linguistic differences. The Feedback Hub has also been updated with this build to try and address the issue of duplicate feedbacks from people who are either too lazy to search and upvote feedback or for a variety of other reasons. Collections are groups of similar threads of feedback that'll help people find and support issues or suggestions that they experience in the Windows Insider program. You'll notice that because collections consist of grouped feedback threads, they'll appear with a much more substantial number of upvotes than normal posts. If you're running 15.025 or plan on running it, I suggest that you check this out before anything else. Now, as with all these new features, there are also quite a few issues, so be aware of that. Like I've said before, I highly discourage that you install these builds onto your main device. Not that they'll cause your device to explode, but because you might run into an undocumented issue that prevents you from getting certain work done. Anyhow, this has been a quick update video with me, Cody, on Microsoft. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and check out onmicrosoft.com to continue receiving updates about the future of Windows 10, Windows 10 Mobile, and the future Windows 10 Creators update. Thank you, goodbye.